you're stuck at home and you want to start a garden, where do you begin? Well, first I want to say that you can get seeds from anywhere. They're all good seeds. You can get them from Walmart, you can get them from Lowe's, you can get them from your neighbor. Um, anywhere you can, grab a seed and start to plant. We use three primary seed sources because we're interested in heirloom seeds and we're interested in older varieties of food that aren't readily available. And there's three sources that we primarily use. One is from Working Food. They're a seed saving organization um, and co-op in Alachua County. They're a great resource for local heirloom seeds and seeds that thrive in Florida. The second is Baker Creek Heirloom Seeds. They are notorious for having wonderful, unusual varieties of plants. They're a great resource for how to grow seeds. They have beautiful, beautiful plants available. And if you go online, they have lots of tips on how to start seeds. And then lastly, we get a lot of our seeds from Monticello. That's Thomas Jefferson's house. And um, they have his garden and they grow the plants that Thomas Jefferson was growing in the 17 and 1800s. So a lot of these plants are directly from the plants that Thomas Jefferson grew in his garden. All right, so you have your seeds and you're wondering what to do with them. Well, the first thing you need is you need seed, you need dirt, and you need water. Lots of the seed packets will have information on the back and it'll tell you whether to start indoors or in trays or whether to sow directly in the ground. A lot of these seeds could have been started way early. We're a little bit late, but tomatoes and peppers and all that stuff, you can start indoors in the winter. So when it's about now, they're like, yay high. So these are Roselles which are like called the Florida Cranberry. And these started, were started pretty recently, um, but we're starting these in little cups and then we'll transplant them. And then these are a whole variety, I think of tomatoes that we're growing. And we're starting those in smaller little um, trays and we'll transplant those once they get their true leaves on them. So their true leaves, true leaves aren't on any of these, but you might be able to start to see some on these. Nope, not on those either. True leaves are when they'll pop up their real leaves and then you know that they're ready sort of to transplant. All right, here in the teaching garden, we have raised beds and we have in-ground beds. But really what you wanna pay attention to is under that seed packet or online, it'll say whether to start that seed indoors or whether to sow directly in the ground. You wanna wait until the last frost is over and the ground is nice and warm if you're gonna sow directly into the ground. You also want to make sure that your bed is fairly weed free um, and you're going to plant those seeds um, however much distance or depth they need. So for instance, these seeds that we planted here are kind of melon and we planted these a quarter inch deep and they're about 12 inches apart. Again, we're talking about that plant social distancing. So these plants need a little bit of distance just like we do to grow healthy and to thrive. This is the most important thing once you've planted seeds in the ground or in little cups. You need to keep these seeds moist. They need to always stay moist. You need to water them at least twice a day. If that soil dries out, your little seed's gonna wither and die. Just like if you don't drink enough water while you're outside here, you'll dehydrate. So keep those seeds moist and they'll sprout up. Once those seeds have sprouted up, the true leaves have come and they're about yay high, you can then just make sure that that soil is nice and moist throughout the day. Maybe cut back a little bit of a, on your watering. Some plants like dry ground. Some plants like wet ground. So when you plant your water, you really want to learn about those plants in the later stages of life uh, and how much water they need, as well as how tall this plant's going to get. You don't want to plant a really tall plant here and a short plant here and have it shaded out. So you wanna think about those things. You wanna think about the depth that you're gonna plant the seed, how much water that seed needs once its plant is to maturity, and how big and how much space that plant's gonna take up. So that's about your social distancing with the plants that you're planting. This garden. Now, here's the deal. If you wanna come and volunteer at this garden, call our center and uh, get with our ranger, Caroline, and she will make you a volunteer gardener. Volunteer gardeners have a great lot of fun here. They get a free t-shirt and you get to take home some of the produce that you grow. You also get to spend beautiful time in this beautiful garden under these beautiful Florida skies. So get out there, go hiking, plant a garden, get into nature because that's what we got right now.